Hey guys, I'm back with another empties video. Um, I think this is it's my second, maybe third video. I don't know, who cares? Anyway, um, the first product I have is this humongous bottle of shampoo by American Crew. Um, this actually was purchased by my boyfriend, but I helped him finish it. So I figured I'd review it. Oh, I have something in my eye. Um, it was okay. I mean, I don't know how he felt about it. I don't think he's going to repurchase it. I certainly won't. Um, it, it did the job. It smelled... Wait, what does it smell like? I think it smells good. Yeah, it smelled good. Um, it worked. It was fine. It didn't dry out my hair, but it didn't overly hydrate it. It's the Daily Moisturizing Shampoo, by the way. Anyway, moving on. Okay. Um, I finished up my beloved Marrakesh um, shampoo, which I love. I've been using it for, my god, like six years or something. Um, um, I just love it. I, I still have the conditioner left. I'm going to use that up. I don't think I'm going to buy it again for a while just because I've been using it for so long and even though I love it, I just kind of want to try other things. Um, but I probably will repurchase it again at some point because it smells so good. It's sulfate free. It has argan oil and hemp oils and all that stuff, so it's good for your hair. Um, I finished up this Sea Booth Brazilian Nut Dry Oil Spray. This was actually pretty good. I would repurchase this again because it's so cheap. It smelled really nice. They have other scents as well. Um, I really like this one because it's like warm and nutty. Um, but. It is, it's like only like $6 or something, and um, it's just like a dry oil, so I like to put it on as my moisturizer after the shower. So, yeah, I would buy that again. Um, I finished up this Bamboo Vo Abundant Volume Shampoo. Um, this was actually <laughs> given to me by my mom, because she um, stopped using it and switched over to um, a different shampoo, and I finished this for her, and I liked it, it was fine, but right now with um, my hair going through so much with all the color changes and stuff. I've finally stopped as you can see I'm back to um, my natural color and I'm just gonna leave it like that for a while give it a break um, I really need something that's strictly for like repairing or hydrating and, and all that I don't really need the volume at the moment so I won't repurchase that but it is a good shampoo um, I didn't notice if it did give me volume because volume lack of volume is not something that I um, have a problem with because I have so much hair, one, it's really textured, two, and it's really damaged, so <laughs> yeah. Um, I finished this Ban Invisible Solid Deodorant. Um, it was okay, I won't repurchase it again. Um, the reason I purchased this in the first place is because years ago they made a Ban um, Invisible Solid and the scent was Vanilla Twist. and the whole deodorant was different like I don't know why they discontinued it but I used it for so long um, like from the moment it came out to the moment it was discontinued I used it because it was really good the scent wasn't overpowering it just kept you dry and smelling good for hours so I don't know it, it just didn't have the same effect so um my favorite moisturizer the DML daily facial moisturizer um, that I've been using forever. Um, I don't, again, I don't think I'm going to buy this again for now because I just want to try something else. I've been using it for so long. I want to see if there's something else for me out there. If I can't find something as good, I will go back to this because it just, it just does right by me. That's all I can say. It has, um, hyaluronic acid. It doesn't clog my pores. It's super hydrating. It has a broad spectrum SPF 25. Sorry. Um, yeah, so... I love it. Um, I finally finished up this guy that I had for two um, years because I only used it in like the fall months. It's the Harvest Spice Philosophy uh, Body Wash. It smells so good. It smells like, oh, this is like bringing me back to fall already. <sighs> yeah, there's like, it's just like everything that you'd imagine fall would smell like, that's what this smells like. Um, I. Yeah, I think they brought that back this year. They didn't, uh, I thought I saw it. Maybe I didn't. It's called, it's pumpkin orange is the scent. And it, and it does, it has that like spicy citrus, citrus scent. But, um, there's a lot of like pumpkin and like cinnamon and all that. 
all that good stuff in there. Yeah, it smells really good. But honestly, my skin, my body, the skin on my body gets really dry, um, gets dried out by uh, certain body washes, and that one just doesn't hydrate enough. So I really just um, have to stick with ones that are super hydrating. Um, I finished up one of these. I still have another one in my shower because I like to keep a stock of this. Um, it's the Kiehl's Aromatic Blends Fig Leaf and Sage. They are discontinuing these, which is sad. Um, because nobody really liked them, I guess. This to me, I mean, I know most people don't think this smells good, but this to me um, reminds me of my grandfather who passed away in November, so um, that's why I like it. But I can see why nobody else would like it because it's kind of like a musty smell, but um, whatever. Um, another little guy of the Sea Booth um, Honey Almond Nourishing Dry Oil Mist. This one smells good too. I can't remember what it smells like. Yeah, so this is like a sweeter version of the other one um, of the, what was it, Brazilian Nut. Um, but it's still like a nice warm scent. Um, I got this and I, th I think it was I got it in my glossy box. So I liked this one too. They're just, they're good, like cheap alternatives to like the expensive body oils and, and stuff. Um, I finished up finished <laughs> up this little guy of the creme de Cor. I think I finished up a few of them. Creme de Cor by Kiehl's. I love this moisturizer. I honestly really want to buy it but I just haven't brought myself to wanting to spend that amount of money on a moisturizer yet but I probably will eventually because a good moisturizer is really important to me because I have get really bad dry skin on my legs and I have eczema so keeping them really hydrated is important and that stuff is amazing and it's fragrance free so it doesn't irritate my eczema or anything like that. I loved it. I finished up this Aveda Damage Remedy Reconstructing Conditioner. This was a really good conditioner. I got this um, kind of when I was in the midst of bleaching my hair and it really did uh, a good job at maintaining some moisture. Um, it didn't like transform my hair or anything like that. It smelled really good. I think there's still some in here. Yeah, it smelled really good. I won't buy it again just because I've used things that I prefer. Um, but all in all, it was I would recommend it. It's a good conditioner. Um, I finished up this Kiehl's Amino Acid Conditioner. Um, this is also a good conditioner. Again, I need something a little bit more heavy duty right now. Um, for before I was bleaching my hair, this would have been great for me because I just had pretty normal hair that just needed a light conditioner. Um, so if you're like that, if you don't have seriously damaged hair, then I would say this is good for most um, hair types, whether it be fine or thick, um, curly, straight, whatever. Um, it has pure coconut oil and jojoba oils in it, so it's really hydrating, but again, it's not gonna repair the hair like I needed, but it was a good condition. It smells like coconuts. Um, Amlactin, I finished up, as I mentioned, I have eczema on my legs, and this has alpha hydroxy acids in it, so it helps to exfoliate, so it really helps to calm down um, my eczema if I have a flare-up. Um, it's not that hydrating though, I will say, so it really just kind of exfoliates, um, but it smells so bad, so I really, I have another one, and I'll keep it on hand, but I really like to use, you know, other moisturizers unless I really need to use that. Um, okay, I have these little, little trial sizes of the Happy Hour, um, Weightless Conditioner and Blowout Shampoo. These were okay. Um, again, I just have damaged hair, so I don't really know how these would work on normal hair. Um, they were, they were good, but they just didn't, they made my hair really shiny and smooth, but they, they just didn't help to repair my hair, so I won't be purchasing them. Um, this I got in my, one of my glossy boxes. It's the Acai Deep Conditioning Mask, um, by Brazilian Blowout, and this was really good. I used this recently, actually. Um, I just left it on my dry hair for like a half an hour, and then I got in the shower, and, um, it was almost to the point where my hair was kind of greasy, which I like nowadays because... That means it's not dry. Um, I used up an Inimitable Intense Mascara by Chanel, which is my favorite. I mean, I just, I'll probably have one of these in every single one of my empties videos. Um, I used up this 
I mean, I gotta admit, I it kind of dried up because I hadn't used it in so long, but it's the Benetint by Benefit. I got this so long ago. Um, it's cute. I actually heard that it was created to tint, um, like, porn stars or, like, burlesque dancers' nipples to make them, like, more rosy. <laughs> um, I don't know if that rumor's true, but I kind of liked it even more when I heard that. Um, but yeah, it's like a cheek and, or lip tint. I liked it more for the for lips, and it actually tastes like roses. It was nice. Um, Anastasia Brow Wiz. I always go through one of these, and then actually a coworker recommended the Kevin Aquan eyebrow pencil to me, and I've been using that now, and I actually like it a lot more. It just it feels sturdier. It's like a stiffer point, but it still gives you a lot of pigment. But it's just not as soft and it doesn't you don't go through it as quickly and they don't break as easily so um, I'm trying that out right now I'll let you guys know what I think about that when I finish it but so far I like it better so those are all of my empties nothing too um, exciting but I hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching bye